we asked on Thursday, um, we asked on Thursday about whether or not people are uh, ready for face-to-face -face okay. learning, ready to return to the classroom. Um, we got a lot of uh, responses, about 500 responses what? online. You um, mean people had feelings about that? <laughs> yes, they did. Yes, they did. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, share some of that with you guys here uh, here on, um, on the link. And so it was actually surprising because when we put out a poll, so we asked a question on Facebook and Instagram, and on the poll, uh, it was split. It was about 50-50, um, 21 hours later, of people saying whether or not they were ready to uh, return to the classroom. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, start sharing some of those responses on your screen right now. Uh, the first comment we got was uh, on Instagram from Zay, who says, uh, I agree it's too soon, but I can also understand that some are struggling to learn online. Figure out how to make it work for those online and those who want to go back. I'm sure some would like to keep their kids online, so that means less kids in school for more social distancing. Someone commented on that comment and said, I mean, if online students want to return to face-to-face, -to -face, online students got to wait for second semester in January. So I don't know why we're going to wait for that long. Another comment we got from Christine on Instagram says, as long as our community does their part in being safe and cautious, yes, there's so many people struggling with online learning. It's very pressuring and stressful, but we can't help it. Another commenter says, yes, I want to go to school. The main reason is online classes isn't helping at all high schoolers are have been struggling by the government decision school is the only option for us students to learn and to understand in class but i just want you to know i want to catch up my grades and get my senior year diploma i don't want to wait so um you know someone right. <laughs> who's in their final year of high school saying that yeah. uh rose on on instagram also saying COVID numbers are still rising every day what's going to happen again if we see the news that different schools have positive cases I'm working a, I'm a working mother too, and I understand that all parents have their own opinions for a module of learning, online hard copy, face to face. She continues to comment, it's the little ones we need to worry about too. We all have sacrifices during this difficult time. Uh, some other comments there that you can read on your screen as well. Lots of people sounding off uh, in terms of this return to face to face learning. And uh, I think this one comment here might sum it up for a lot of people listening in. This person, exactly. Charlene, says, uh, oh, no, I have seven grandchildren. Six of them are going to school, and I fear for their health and safety. They're so young, fragile. Please rethink your decision. And so, again, sharing a, a snapshot of the poll that we took about 21 hours later, even split on our Instagram, 50-50, the question from Thursday, are you ready for a return to the classroom? Uh, folks sounding off, and we'll have our daily question up in just a bit for, uh, for people to sound off on today. Thank you, Tomas. Thank you. All right, there you go, Tomas McGlotnier from the KUAM uh, news team. We'll go ahead and go into the Zoom room now uh, with Dr. Hoa Wen, the former chair of the Physicians Advisory Group, is uh, standing by uh, this morning out of American uh, Medical Center Clinic. 